Oh, hello folks. Sorry about that. You just caught me uh, testing out the new Gome Vision 7000 from Gome Vision Industries for my product review channel, but more about that on the product review channel. So, behind me, the red arrow. Finally, what a struggle getting the subframe rebuilt then getting the subframe back out there getting the subframe back in with a 700 euro jack that uh, really isn't worth seven euros uh, but with the help of a good friend we got it in and then winched the car in here now i have about two weeks worth of footage for you on the whole machinations and some other projects and bits and pieces that I've been working on here uh, during that time. Um, but there is just so much footage there now that I've literally ran out of hard disk space on the PC. So I'm having to mess around with that uh, to get all of that footage edited into something resembling a um, coherent video that people might want to watch yeah no that doesn't seem right does it anyway upshot is red arrow is now in the barn and is about to undertake phase two so what is going to be phase two well phase two is going to be GS 300H drivetrain, so GS 300H gearbox, GS 300H inverter, um, obviously zombie verter VCU will be controlling the whole show. Uh, we have the DC-DC converter in the GS 300H inverter, so that takes care of those two uh, things for us. Um, Charger will be the MGZS, um, 7.2 kilowatt or whatever it is. Charger that you've been witnessing me struggling away with for months. I'm still struggling with it, uh, but hopefully we'll make a, bre a breakthrough in time for the red arrow. Um, fast charging side of things will either be the UHE CCS system or we'll just go with the tried and trusted CHEDEMO. Cabin heat uh, is going to be courtesy of the MGZS um, heater matrix because the E36 uh, lend themselves really easily to swapping out the heater matrix. Um, so after that, it's just the usual suspects for... Um, brake booster and power steering and so on. Now, but what about the battery, I hear you ask, and that's the one that I get asked the most about. Well, the battery is here beside me, and it is a 14.7 kilowatt hour uh, pack from, don't ask me the exact model, but some Land Rover plug-in hybrid, uh, vehicle. It is a uh, 108S pack as well, to the best of my knowledge. So this will be our first 108S um, battery stroke, you know, high voltage system build. Uh, depending upon what success or not that we have with uh, communicating with the pack, uh, we may be able to use whatever control mechanism is in there, but if not, we'll go with the BMW S-Box uh, for our contactors and high voltage sensing and all that sort of thing. So this will also be the first build that we do that will not use the ISA shunt 
uh, for primary high voltage measurement. So, I think we've covered just about uh, most things. A um, lot of work to do on the vehicle still. The back end now is mostly done. I just have to, um, here on this side, I used the wrong bolt, so the the toe or the, ca the caster is completely crazy on this side, so I gotta fix that, but that's easy. You'll see more about this in the longer matinee uh, version, but I figured, let's do something quick today, get you folks a quick, um, well, quick by my standards, look at, uh, what our next barn project is, and it's the Red Arrow. Um, so yeah, unfortunately the pack itself is too big uh, to fit in the engine compartment just as is. Uh, so I've had a local uh, metalwork company now working on a battery box for me uh, for about the last week or so. So I hope to collect that this week. Um, and uh, then we can start sizing up our GS300H 300 gearbox in there and getting mountings made and so on. Um, so that'll be the first thing I'll be doing, it'll be actually getting the gearbox put up in there uh, because then that's going to let me measure the drive shaft and I can drop the two drive shafts then over to my drive shaft guys and let them work away on mating up the BMW uh, and the Lexus drive shafts, uh, so the wheel of that ready for uh, doing our first wheel spin. So, folks, that is where things are with the Red Arrow at the minute. Um, it's our next big project here. Uh, so, as I say, uh, will be a longer video coming along with lots of. Yeah, not lots of um, uh, highs and lows, let's say, but uh, yeah, that's for later. So, as always, goes without saying, but just in case, don't forget to give this video a dislike, unsubscribe from this garbage, otherwise I'm going to keep doing this. And uh, But do check the links in the description for some other more interesting channels. And, uh, oh, of course, and uh, also my um, product review channel, not. And uh, check out Open Inverter and all that in there, all that good stuff. And oh yeah, I put the Patreon and the PayPal links in there as well, just so you can avoid accidentally supporting me because I just take your cash and spend it on the Gome Vision 6000 and car parts. And you know, then I'm, what am I doing? I'm, nobody wants that, so don't support me. Right, oh, hang on, what's that? Ah. There we go. So, that's it. We'll see you in the next semi-exciting Red Arrow episode. And uh, until then, happy caster fixing, or is it toe? I never can tell.